In this video we'll be looking at thresholds and templates. Alright, so I'm monitoring a bunch of stuff on my devices now. On my switch I can actually see the CPU usage, RAM usage, etc. On my access point I can see the virus clients, the temperature, input voltage. But I probably want to be alerted by an XMS when some of these things aren't inside of certain thresholds which I would like them to be. For example, I certainly don't want temperature to rise above 80 degrees Celsius or I don't want my input voltage to drop under 20 volts. So I can actually set thresholds on this. So let's change the thresholds for these DCIs. So I will go back into data collection configuration, go into the temperature DCI, threshold, and I will add a threshold that says if the last three hold values are more than 80 degrees. Alert me. Alright, that's good. If CPU usage is over 90% for the last three poles, this is bad. If RAM usage is over 90% for the last three poles, this is also bad. Okay, so that's it for the switch. Now let's configure the thresholds for the access point. Again, temperature if the last three poles are over 80 degrees Celsius, alert me. And if the input voltage drops for the last, let's do just one pole. If it's less than 20 volts, also throw up an alert. There is one more thing which we are going to cover in this video, which is templates. So let's say I have a single item which I would like to monitor for all of my nodes. For example, I would like to actually monitor response time, the ping ICMP response time for all of my nodes. I could go into every single one of my nodes and actually add a ping response time DCI, but there is a much simpler method to do this, which is a template. So let me create a new template, call it ping time, and let me configure a data collection object on this actual template. So let's do a new parameter and let's do a internal ping time. All right, great. Ping time of primary IP address, that's good, all of it is configured. And let's collect the ping response time every 30 seconds. Okay, so I configured the DCI for a template and now I can bind nodes to this template. So let's do apply template and let's just apply it to all of my nodes here. Okay. And now I can see that all of the nodes have been added to this template. And if I click on any of the nodes inside of this template, in last values I can now see the ping time of primary IP for every single node. So that's how easy it is to add a single data collection item a single DCI on too many nodes. If I had more switches, I could just create a switch template. Let's, let's do that right now. Let's create a switch template. And we need to bind our switch to this template. And if we go to the data collection configuration on this switch, we can now select these DCIs, which I know are for the HP switches, and I can do convert to template item and convert to the switches template. Alright, so now if I added another switch, I could simply apply this template to the other switch and automatically all of these would be collected for that switch. That's it for this video and in the next one we will actually look at how to graph all of these collected data and in what ways we can access those graphs.